Hey everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, Dobre den, Ako Samaj. Um, happy Saturday, everyone. I know it's been a while since uh, I left a really personal video. Today I felt like it was the day to do that. Um, I'm gonna open up about something that's really bothering me. I'm hurting right now and, and, and I'm very emotional about it. And um, I feel like this is the platform to talk about it. I gotta take a deep breath because I've never really talked about this before. Um, I'm hurting. Like, I'm seriously hurting. Like, my legs hurt, man. Like, my legs seriously hurt. And I don't understand. Like, I know I'm training for this marathon and training really hard and determined to do it this year. But my legs hurt so bad that when I try to do a dance, they wouldn't go along with the routine, man. Like, they wouldn't cooperate. It's like they didn't want to be there. And I had a problem with this because I'm thinking, like, okay, me and my legs have a long standing relationship. I grew up with them. I went to college with them. I mean, I came out the womb with them. I mean, I don't understand. Like me and my legs went to our first movie together. We went track and run cross country medals together. I hung out with the fellas with them. I mean, we go back. I mean, when I went and got my driver's license, they were there. When I got my college degree, they were there. Every job interview I went on, they were there. When I took my first international trip, they were with me. So, I mean, me and my legs go back. I mean, you know, I see them every night. We sleep in the same bed. But when it came to this routine, they just didn't want to show up. And I'm sore and I'm hurting. And I know it's worth it because the first time in a long time, I'm determined to run this marathon. I'm completing the task this year and I'm training extremely hard for it. And I just felt like they should have agreed to do the dance routine with me and they didn't want to do it, man. So I text them. I said, like, let legs. I mean, come on, guys. Like, we, we go way back. We're best friends. And they were like, Dante, we can't move. Like, we just can't do it. And I'm like, is it that bad? Really? Is it me? Did I do something? And they were like, it's not you. It's us. I mean, like, literally, I just, I can't do it. Like, I, I was hurting. And so I just wanted to share that. That's the first thing I'm hurting over. The second thing I'm hurting over is as you get older, and, and granted, I'm not old. I'm only 26. So I'm going to stick with that, knowing that I'm 46, but I'm a claim 26. Gray hair starts to appear. And one right here specifically just won't go away. And um, I don't understand. Like, I mean, it didn't talk to me first. It just appeared there like this. Hello. And it just stayed. No matter what I do, no matter how hard I, how hard I try to groom it, it just stays there looking at me like I'm right here. And I'm just, I'm like, how could you do this to me? I'm only something, something years old. I don't deserve this. I deserve better than this. Like, I'm not old. I got the, the Vernay Johnson's face, you know, that young face, you know, <laughs> you know how it is. And they just, and it keeps staying there. Like, it just looks at me like, and I don't want to hear that, you know, gray equals wisdom stuff. You can keep all that. I had my wisdom two pulled three years ago. I don't need no more wisdom. So I'm just telling you right now, I'm against it all. I don't like it. It's a conspiracy. I think it stinks. And I don't like gray hair. I don't want any more gray hair. I don't even know how to spell gray hair. First of all, my hair is black or dark brown, whatever you want to call it. What little I have left, got to stay there, man. I got to hold on to my 40s as long as I possibly can so that I don't get caught up in the 50s. There's nothing against the 50s. I'm just not trying to go there. Like, it's a nice place to visit, but I ain't living there. I'm not crossing that boundary with y'all. I'm staying right here. So all I'm saying is, you know, for all of the people that's trying to be like, oh, you know, Dante, gray hair is a, a mystique. Y'all can keep all of that. I don't want none of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. So... Personally, I'm hurting over these two things. There's got to be some sort of a hotline or some sort of thing that, that I can or somebody or somebody I can talk to about this crisis I'm going through. And even the dog next door is agreeing with me. Hear him? He's up there saying, all right, Dante, I got you. And I just I, I don't like it. So that's where I am today. And um, after that heartfelt message, stay tuned for my next YouTube video.